Hey guys, welcome back to another shopping day. Um, I just got finished at Fry's. I've already gone to Trader Joe's. My last stop is going to be Sam's Club and then I'll show you guys everything I got. I have returned my friends from the three grocery stores and this is what I got. And all I can say guys is it feels like I'm starting over. <laughs> I'm upping the protein that I'm eating each, each week and boy oh boy, we ate through like all the things that I had backed up in the fridge. So I had to restock. And we went through a lot of our produce this week. I needed to build a stockpile back up of some things I actually finished off. Let's go through everything. Uh, it's a lot. Okay, starting off with uh, my small little Trader Joe's haul. Two of these little packages of hash brown patties for Mike's breakfast. Trader Joe's is the cheapest place that I have found for these. So whenever we get over there, we buy some. And then I was completely out of my hemp hearts. Uh, I like to uh, use those to boost up the good fats in my food. And recently I found out I'm supposed to up that. So yay. <laughs> uh, next. Oh, and the total for these three items from Trader Joe's was $12.07. Next, fries. Fries is all of this right here. <laughs> so I found some or uh, red bag oranges and then they also had mandarins on sale so I don't mind regular oranges Mike prefers the mandarins raspberries like one of my favorite fruits and they were still on sale this week one little onion because a little bit of onion for me but obviously not low FODMAP avocados I can have a little bit of this even though it's not entirely low FODMAP green onions Potatoes, they had five pounds on sale with a digital coupon, so I snagged that up. And then two gallons of the lactose-free milk, one uh, full fat, one 2%. This one I'm gonna be making more yogurt out of. This one I'm actually gonna try to make some homemade lactose-free feta. Kind of excited about that. Oh, and also a bundle of cilantro. The thing that I may have gone a little bit overboard on was meat this week but oh my gosh they did have some great deals on uh, white meat chicken this package of chicken drums and the pork roast was on sale so i got a huge one of those but at a dollar 99 a pound i couldn't help uh restocking the freezer and i mean these chicken drumsticks four and a half pounds for five dollars it isn't the 99 cents a pound that i used to get um, but it's still not a bad deal at all. This pork roast uh, was $1.79 a pound. And this is, I'm going to chop this up into a couple of different ones. Probably make um, some slow cooker pork with the part that, that has most of the bone in it. Well, all the bone in it. And then, you know, make like skewers or something out of the rest of it. We'll see. We'll see what I make out of it. I made it out of fries for a pretty darn good price. Everything was on sale except for the green onion, the cilantro, and the uh, lactose-free milk. Everything else here, oh, and the onion, that wasn't on sale, but I spent $53.40, so not, not bad, I think, for stocking up on that much meat. And lastly is Sam's Club, which is all of this right here. I got ground beef um, and... Potatoes. Originally, I was going to make meatballs and rice for Mike for his lunches this week, but I, these potatoes were on sale. They were a dollar off. So they were like $5 for this big pack of potatoes. What is this? Five pounds. So a dollar a pound for the like creamer potatoes. He really, really likes these. So I think I'm going to put those with his lunch this week instead of rice. I was going to get cantaloupe, guys, but they were out. They were out. And then I saw these. And persimmons are literally one of my favorite fruits. Like I couldn't say no. I used to have persimmon tree in my yard. Not like this kind of persimmons. They were like little persimmons. Oh, but I saw them and I couldn't help myself. So they're here. <laughs> Some eggs for Mike for his breakfasts. Bacon. Uh, we completely ran out of bacon, so this is an entire restock up on bacon. Egg whites, like I said, trying to up my protein game. 
This is a great low calorie way to do it. Same thing with tuna. Ran out of tuna this week, ate all of it. So I had to restock up on that. And for Sam's Club, I ended up spending the, the most out of all of the places, $69.55. But this is a big restock up on a lot of stuff that we ran out of. That's what I ended up getting this week, kind of on a, ooh, like starting over restock of like the freezer and the fridge and a little bit of our staples. Uh, I'm hoping that this means that the next couple weeks won't be as expensive, but in grand total, we spent, we spent $135.02. Hoping, like I said, that this will feed us for a few weeks. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget, you know, the usual stuff. Subscribe, like, share it, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next grocery haul. Bye, guys.